Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Ashish and uh, the course name is Microsoft Azure Infrastructure as a Service Exam Code 70-533. This is video number 13 and uh, we are continuing with our part for Azure Web Apps. In previous nuggets I have told you how to create a web app how to what are, what are the deployment credentials deployment slots custom domain SSL and uh, continuous delivery all these functions today we are gonna discussing the monitoring part let's say it, there was a crash in the application that you created and now you want to get into the root cause you want to diagnose the problem how would you diagnose it there must be some logging like you have event viewer application logs web app logs web logs IIS logs when you host a web application on the IIS server on the on-premises in the data centers or on the virtual server same way you have the diagnostic logs under you can scroll down to monitoring part here or you can directly type in diagnostics it will take you to this diagnostics which is under monitoring so you'll see that by default every logging is set to off okay now if you will just read the notification here it says enable application logging to collect diagnostic traces from your web app code you will need to turn this on to enable the streaming lock feature I'll tell you what lock stream is there is another feature in the monitoring for Azure web apps which is called lock stream we have application log lock stream event viewer like you have event viewer on the on-premise IIS servers this second turns itself off after 12 hours so you don't have to worry about but you will have to again check if the setting is on or not so let's say uh, we set this logging to on you'll see it asked me if I want to set this to error warning information or verbose well in all of the scenarios in all of the production scenarios that I've worked on we usually set it to error then you can click on save same way if you will click on application logging you'll click on off the difference you'll see here if you will set the level of the logging as uh, error it says you that it needs a location to store the logs for which we'll have to configure the storage account on Azure I will discuss the storage in detail in the coming sessions because I have outlined the structure of this course taking into consideration every part of Azure so as of for now let's say you click on storage setting storage not configured you will have to click on here to enable to create a new storage account let's say you give it a test storage you can give it any name but it should be unique kind let's choose v1 if you would have taken the another subscription it would have given the v2 we will discuss oh, the difference between the general purpose v1 and general purpose v2 when we will cover the storage part in detail okay uh, storage if you click here the standard storage accounts are backed by magnetic drives and provide the lowest cost per GB if you will go for the premium storage accounts are backed up by SSD drives and offer consistent low latency performance they can only be used with Azure virtual machine disk and are best so it means if you will choose the premium option you will be charged way high if you will choose the standard option as of now we choose standard for the replication purpose we choose locally redundant storage LRS we click on OK in the background it says initializing then submitting the deployment it is in the background it is creating a new storage account I'll pause the video and come back as soon as it is done okay my storage account is created with which, which is assert test storage I click on it and it will give me an option to create the container I will have to create the container it is just kind of a, a subfolder in the folder where I will keep my logging I will give it uh, assertest web app 
app logs any name web app application logs and public access level is private i keep it as default i click on ok it has successfully created this container i select it so making sure that the container in which my logs would be stored is assert test storage storage account and the container name is assert test web application logs okay retention period see it says by default site diagnostic logs are never deleted using this option will delete the logs older than the specified number of days so if you'll not put in any number here one two or three the logs will never be deleted but if you'll click on one the logs would automatically be deleted after one day so i don't think you will have to do that in the production environment just keep it blank and you'll have to click on save okay If you will go on to your web app again, you'll click on it. Let's say you browse it. It will give you a default message. If you will come back under the diagnostics log. So you have that logging enabled right so you can go into this into this now if you will see the log stream we have enable application log you will see you are now connected to log streaming service so this was the option i was talking about log stream so if you'll have the running application and if you have also enabled web server logs web server logs are switched off so you have to enable the web server logs you have to go back again to the diagnostic logging and go under the web server logging you will click on storage okay you will go we have already created the storage account but you will use the separate container for it because you are, this is the web log so test web app web logs okay will create the container you will select select and click on save so you have enabled the application logging and web logging for your application now if you'll go to log stream again and if you'll click on app web server logs it will see you're now connected because under diagnostics you didn't enable the logs for web server and application logging so you will not see them under log stream and now if you want to retrieve the logs now what you'll do you will go on to that storage account that you, that you created assert as storage you will go to the storage account click here this is the storage account that you created to store the logs you will come under blob service containers you have two containers let's say you want to check the application logs the reason there are no blobs found because we do not have the running application if there would have been any front end application and user have interacted then there would have been logs created here and you could have easily downloaded that logs open it with the notepad plus plus or any other text editor and you'll be able to see the logging and then you can go to find the cause of the error that you found i hope that this information was very useful to you i will see you in the next video and please don't forget to share this video with your friends on facebook linkedin or on youtube please mention your queries in the comment section and i will try to answer them asap
I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.